What's happening? I want to thank you for coming by to vape with the Viking. So today what I got for you is a little 22 millimeter RDA, the Pixie by Vapefly. So we'll get into that little, little flavor pumper. Can we use flavor banger? I'm not sure. So, but nice little small, easy to build on, very good squawking uh, RDA. And I actually had somebody comment on one of the lives I was on, on Subaru's show on Sunday, is you put like a $30 RDA on a spade? Oh yeah, if if it works, it works, right? So, but before we get down into the details of this guy, we're going to give you a little bit of Vikings Advocacy Minute. This is straight from Kassar's website. It's just kind of a snapshot. They do this a lot. It's just a, a heads up news update. They do it usually every couple of days. This one was posted uh, three days ago on May 10th, uh, talking about there is a call to action in Arizona. Massachusetts is facing deadly legislation barriers to harm reductions. Uh, and then there's also a video of Casas CEO Alex Clark speaking at the 2019 e-cigarette summit. And Dr. Brad Rodu, Rodeau, R-O-D-U, Rodeau, nails another commentary about anti-vaping lies. So, like I tell everybody, you know, I'm not the go-to person for advocacy. You know, that's definitely Bogan, Grim Green, uh, and of course, Matt from Suck My Mod. Those guys are definitely in the know. I'm just here to raise awareness. So, go to Casa. It takes 30 seconds to sign up. You can see all the stuff yourself, and then make the decision if you want to be involved or not. But at least, if you're not involved, you're informed, because they are trying to take away all of our rights. So, let's get back to the Pixie, little 22 millimeter guy here. Uh, so we'll do what we do as usual. We'll dive down on it, uh, take a look at the outside, the inside, do a build, do all that good stuff, and then come back up, vape on it, and I can tell you where to find it, and if I want you to find it, if it's good or not. So, but without further ado, let's drop the hammer on the Pixie by Vapefly. Okay, so what I got for you today is the Vapefly Pixie. They're saying it's small, simple, and smooth. Here's all the different color configurations. Looks like you got a stainless, probably like a brushed. And you got your gunmetal, gold, rainbow, and, uh, or excuse me, that should be black. And I think that's supposed to be a gunmetal or a matte silver. And then, of course, on the side, you have Vapefly. And then on this side, you'll have the QR quick response code, all their social media. And then on the back, you will have the uh, features, all of their mailing information, warnings, your scratch and check, uh, UPC that also comes with your color configuration, which I got gunmetal. And you'll see there what they say are all the features. All right, we'll open this guy up here, which of course, if you know me, I have already opened it. I've already threw it through the ultrasonic. That way I can use it right away. So typical bait fly packaging as usual. Then you have the RDA right here, which like I said, it's the uh, gun metal. So it's got kind of that, of course, gun metal -y finish, but just kind of smooth matte finish. And then it has Pixie on the side there. It's kind of sometimes hard to see there. It's like, does it say Pixie or what does that say? Anywho, all right. So a little small 22 millimeter guy. So you do have hybrid safe 510 connection there. And on the bottom you have Pixie. Let's see here, let's zoom in there. Yeah, there we go. Got a little almost rainbow hue going on there. <laughs> Let me kick one of the lights off here. That might help there. Okay, so you got Pixie and then designed and manufactured by Vapefly and then your serial number down there. Then you'll have your negative screw there. 
And you also notice on the outside you will have your regular airflow, and then you have like a Cyclops hole here. You got your 510, let's back up a little bit. Have your drip tip here, it is 510. And it does appear to be the little double O-ring guy. You have this whole top piece here, which is basically uh, kind of like a stand frame area, uh, like a heat sink. Since this guy is so tiny, you're going to have to have something to kind of help dissipate the heat a little bit. And we'll get into the rest of the box, and then we'll pop this guy open here. And you have, oh, that lovely foam. Then you actually have another little cardboard separator there. You have your Pixie RDA manual. And then you will have some coils in cotton. And it looks like it is a 0.35 ohm. Uh, they are a dual fuse Clapton of NI80. So 26 with a 36. And then uh, some vape, vape fly fireball cotton so good good cotton and uh, I've had their fuse before they actually aren't bad and then in the rest of this package you will have your Allen your tri-tool all the o-rings you will have your squonk pin and then you'll have this guy and we'll take it out because probably end up using that more than the other. Uh, little bags. Little bags, there we go. Uh, you will also have some uh, grub screws in there as well. All right, so that's all that. Get into this guy here. All right. Now, you will see kind of neat little feature here on the top cap of course you do have the little nice little doming in there which you'd expect to have a little 22 millimeter and it's machined in there it looks fairly well there's a couple little you know not the greatest machine marks but especially that doming looks nice and smooth but then you also have this kind of like step ledge and that will house your uh, airflow now, why I grabbed that other little piece out there is if you take this top off, you'll have a little bit better access to it. You'll see there's like a little lip in there and this little, I guess, AFC insert uh, is actually made of peak material. And you'll actually push, I think it's a push out. Let's see here, let's get a, some tweezers. Well, let's see here. I don't want to mess up the uh, peak. There we go. Oh, almost so close. Okay, so let's... Uh, Let's get some ceramics here. Because you're supposed to... There we go. Yeah, there's like that little tiny extra little ledge there. You're supposed to be able to push through there, I thought. There we go. It's probably just a little tight from being new and, of course, in the ultrasonic. Let's back up there.
There we go. Success. All right. So there we go. So that took that little guy out. So you'll get the little three hole. And then you'll get this kind of, <laughs> out the fingers, get this kind of a, more of a, a wide slotted uh, old time Hemi supercharger air blower intake <laughs> little guy in there so and there's been a couple RDAs out there that have this same little feature uh, they'll usually come with way more inserts than that there's even RTAs like the uh, I'm gonna I always screw the name up the Skyfall Sky yeah Skyfall RTA that has all these little different inserts it's a it's kind of a cool way for these companies just to mill out one chunk and then give you other options you know of course later on down the road but uh, i think even like the i think it was the poet no one the poet it was uh one of the higher end companies had a 22 millimeter that had these guys too so but we're going to use what i would consider i guess the restrictive uh direct lung in that guy and then you get down to the deck Pretty plain, pretty simple. Uh, when you put the squonk pin in, you're going to get uh, literally juice just to come up and then just kind of pull around the juice well. Juice wells uh, for the size is, I mean, it's not extremely deep, but it's definitely not extremely shallow. Uh, so the nice thing is, is since it's not you know hugely deep, uh, if you look at the airflow, it's uh, for you to over squonk it, you're gonna have to come all the way up to the side. And then since that's at an angle, you're gonna have to squonk it and then get it probably past the halfway point here. So unless you're just a mad masher on squonk bottles, this should be fairly leak resistant in my opinion. So we have the grub screws up here. Just kind of a, a simple little deck here. Check the thread in there. Nice. Nice. All right. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Hopefully it works. Yeah, so those are nice and smooth. So we'll take and put the coils in there. And literally what I will do with those is just try to match it up with the airflow as much as possible. So take a look. Here's your uh, airflow. So when you get it clipped down in there, it's going to be like that. So pretty much your airflow, because it's angled, is going to be pretty much dead center of where those posts are, or at least the screws are. So you would almost want to uh, run your coils probably just dead even on there. There is a nice little indention on here that will help you guide your coil, your, your coil rod. Um, but since that's such a small indention, there's a possibility that you'll probably be riding above it. So you just want to take a look and bring it off to the side and kind of have a look and see where your coil is placed after you place it in there. And then the last thing on that one is you'll also see there's two kind of like cutouts, one on each side. If you look at the, the cap, there's two indentions as well. Now, since this is one-sided airflow, it's pretty easy. You know, you're going to see this is where the airflow is. Here's your post. You're going to go opposite of it and, you know, usually click down. So it's not too much of a pain. But sometimes on RDAs when they have multiple uh, dual-sided airflow and you're having problems getting it on, every once in a while take a look and see if you can find any kind of notch system somewhere in there. All right. So... We're going to go ahead and put in the uh, supplied cotton, the coils. We're going to run some uh, Dark Star, some Strudelmeister. Really good. Dark Star, the whole line is, is an amazing, some amazing flavors, but this is a uh, caramel apple, basically pie. Uh, really good stuff, and it's good for low wattages, kind of almost getting close to mouth to lung. In my opinion and then we'll just go ahead and put that on the spade because I think that will 
that'll match up fairly well. So yeah, all right. So let's get this rolling and we'll come back up, vape on it, and I'll give you my thoughts on the Pixie by Vapefly. So that was kind of my build and once over on the Pixie uh, RDA or RSA, depending on how you want to call it. <laughs> so uh, first off, we'll kind of get this out of the way is where you can find it. You can find it a lot of places. It was right around that release, like $25, $30. Now you can find it in some places like there's one particular site I bought it. It's like 12 bucks. So it's kind of in that range for me, like the Wasp Nano. Except for the Wasp Nano was not that expensive to begin with at launch. You know, it's one of those super, super, super affordable, small 20 millimeter RDAs. But like the Wasp Nano, it does produce a fair amount of flavor. Now, some people will not like that it's a one-sided airflow situation. But uh, for me, it does not, that does not never bugs me unless it's a bigger RDA. And then, of course, that would feel a little off. Uh, like, probably Matt's, uh, the Hermetic, is probably about borderline for me being one-sided airflow. I could actually kind of feel that, what, you know, some people talk about by that lopsided air, essentially. But this guy is definitely small enough, and... If you get a big enough coil in there and, you know, you're wicking and everything, it's going to suck up a lot of that room. So you shouldn't have that much of an issue. It's going to give you more restrictive of a hit, but you shouldn't have that one-sided or lopsided airflow thing. So with what I have it in here now, and I'm still using the stock stuff, uh, you know, it, it fills up pretty well. Um, if I can get it to focus better. But uh, it, it fills it up pretty well, uh, so you don't get that lopsided. The so pros are definitely going to be the flavor you get the flavor off there and I do have the wide insert like I showed you on the dive down in there instead of the three hole guy uh, mainly because that would just be even more of a restrictive hit and it you know, depends you might like that so definitely pros is flavor pro build on is extremely easy you know like showed in the dive down it has the little uh, basically rod guide or track to put your coil in there at the perfect spot almost every single time and i even went through and tried a whole bunch of different 510 drip tips on here because i got a plethora of like old school old school style stuff like real long tall goofy ones to just like some like standard kind of old school 510s so uh i tried well and you even have you know if you guys like that a little fluke thing going on so I, I have a plethora of them i've tried them all honestly the the stock tip it comes with gave me the best flavor so the only con i would have is if you're not cycling your cotton or if you don't have that wicking just super super tight eventually after probably the second bottle or so of squonking it gets it gets pretty spitty and since your mouth is pretty much right up to that coil that that uh, that hot vapor and that that stuff will hurt when it pops up on your your tongue. So, but you know, I'm 
It's a 0.36 build, 40 watts, nothing too crazy. Got the airflow barely cut off a little bit, but show you how it vapes here. Guess that was more of a mouth along there. Yeah, and I got some of a. Uh, don't have the bottle with me. It's uh, over there somewhere, but I uh, have the Dark Star Strudelmeister in it. So it's a uh, like an apple pie vape. So it and again, it just it delivers as well as the Wasp Nano. So if you're a huge fan of the Wasp Nano, but want more of a, a little more restrictive of a hit, this is definitely the way to go. Because the Wasp Nano for me was kind of weird. Uh, the flavor was good, but since it had so much airflow coming into the coil, it was it was odd to me. Um, you'd have to kind of crank up, in my opinion, the wattage a little higher than you will with this. And then if you got spit back off that guy, that hurt. <laughs> you know, so... And plus, there was just a lot of room in that deck, so a lot of air could just kind of free roll around wherever it wanted to. Where this is more definitely direct. So, but yeah, definitely, speaking of like the Wasp Nano, for the price you can get this guy at, and you're looking for a little 22 millimeter, either RDA or RSA, uh, to put on a squonk, uh, this is definitely, I would have to say, one to go grab. So, um, yeah, and just kind of going back on that roll of, pros versus cons cons like i said is the spittiness but that's that's all about your wicking and and coil placement and all that so that's going to be super super subjective so but yet again vape vape fly did a pretty decent job on a device and especially at the price point now so that is all i have for the pixie so I want to thank each and every one of you yet again for coming by to vape with a viking and i'll catch you later